Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q3 of the Bi Weekly Contest 65, most beautiful item for each query. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord if you like these contest prompts and just chat and have fun and all that stuff. Um, for this one, I feel like it's a little bit. Mm, if, you have, if you're struggling with this one, it's okay. Uh, I would say I, I don't. I wouldn't consider this as a Yeezy problem per se, um, but I think the pattern is something that has been coming up on Lead Code um, a couple of times now. So as a result, this is why this is a medium. I, I could also see that there in the past, this could have been a maybe a easier hard, but it's still, but I, I would have classified it as a hard in the past, but given the context of similar problems, um, this is now a medium, right? Because I think conceptually, um, if you haven't seen this quote-unquote, you know, do this one trick to solve this problem uh, type thing before, um, it may be a little bit trickier to realize. And But once you kind of, you know, see th this pattern and know how to do it, um, it's a lot easier. And I have done... I have, you know, I, I have learned... I, I wouldn't say that I learned because I knew about this, but it's something that isn't... A, isn't on the top of my mind uh, until I, you know, like recently because the code problems keep coming, um, gave a lot of them. And uh, maybe not a lot, but a couple of, of the code problems and maybe binarysearch.com problems are uh, kind of of this nature, of this trick, if you will. And that's how I'm able to solve it quickly. I got this in about five and a half minutes. I probably could have done even faster, but I was, um, I think I was chatting a little bit because I was, this is a virtual contest. So I was just like, eh, whatever. Right, like I wasn't a hundred percent on focus per se, but uh, but yeah, but but that said, like I said, if you don't get this one, it's okay. I mean, it's it, it it's like other people are getting it because um because this became standard in in a way that um a lot of or at least recently there are more legal problems on it. Anyway, so with that being said, um, there are a couple of ways you can do it. There are uh, probably fancy ways of fancy data structure. Um, but the way that I would think about it, and this is a little bit kind of tough for me to kind of justify it sometimes, um, because um, these queries, depending on how they structure the phrasing, um, there is some assumption that all these queries are independent of each other. And, and you know, in theory, you know, you might be fooled into thinking that they're dynamic and that, you know, um, you maybe do some pre-processing here and then you do some lookup on, on these queries independently and one at a time and in theory um, it can be online in that like you get more numbers you just process them later as well right um, so that is the idea that uh, and there, that is structured to support that kind of thing uh, what, what we call an online algorithm um, but that's not the easier way to do it and that's why I struggle a little bit on how to kind of thinking about the cleanest way to explain it but that said let's just explain it real quick and the way that I think about it is kind of almost like a sweep line event, but just having defense, right? And and the, the key thing, the key observation here is that knowing that queries can be done. Um, so you may be tempted to do the queries from left to right or maybe right to left. I don't know. You can do that. Though. That's a little bit awkward. Um, but, you know, in, in a sense, the order doesn't matter, right? But actually, the way that you can process these queries is from is from uh, smaller to bigger, right? From, uh, so you sort it in, in uh, and and I guess I'm just looking at the examples to get an example, but the examples are actually pretty bad about it. Or they did, maybe they don't want to give away the game a little bit. Um, but yeah, but after you do this, after you, if you're able to do the queries, if you know that the queries are going from small, to, um, you know, from smaller to larger, then you're able to go, then you're able to kind of sort the items and then answer the queries one at a time. For example, um, let's say we're at one, right? Okay, well, let's say we're at one, then that means that for items, we only uh, care about um, all the items that are smaller than, or the, all the items that are cheaper than one. Um, so now we just process all the, so, you know, you would sort the item away and then now you process all the items that are smaller than queries and then so forth. And then here, you know, once we get to two, we process the two. Um, and then of course you get more beauty. You have a beauty while you're four. So now this is four. Now three, you process the threes. 
um, at four, you still process the you're only at three, so the number is still five, and then five you you get six and so forth, and this will be after you sort it, it's going to be monotonically increasing. So that's basically the idea about this: is that you sort the queries, you sort the items, and and then you just kind of process the item in as long as it's smaller than queries, and then just kind of put the, the output in a way that matches your original query. Um, so I hope that makes sense. We're gonna go over the code real quick. I did it a little bit differently than I said because I don't I, I do it in a different way. Um, but but basically I put them all together. I put all the prices. So we process all the prices before all the queries for the same price, and then we sort the events. Um, and here, you know, this is monotonically increasing in that max. You know, you're always going to take the max, and either you take the current max. It's almost like a prefix sum, or a prefix max type thing. Of okay, as as long as, as you add more items, either you use that new item or you don't, right? And that is represented here, where if we're given an actual item, um, we we improve the max if we can. Otherwise, this is a query, um, and for query, we just you know we just get the max item that we can, and that's pretty much it. This is going to be um, so. Given that uh, P is no, no. Uh, let's say N is items and Q is queries. Um, this is going to be uh, N plus Q times log of M plus Q. Um, did I say M or N? I, I'm, I'm confused myself a little bit. But yeah, so it's going to be this. But of course, you can also we uh, have. Uh, n log n plus q log q you sort them independently that's up to you um but yeah in terms of space this is going to be o of q t space and also o of n space right um can you know this is just linear um and you if you do any sorting i consider that as linear space because you should not be sorting the input anyway um so yeah oops But yeah, um, that's pretty much all I have. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, you could watch me sub it live during the contest. Next. Spin. I mean, I was kind of thinking about it, but I was just like, eh. And then I, I do this thing where, to be honest, I just forgot about it. Like I was thinking about it as I was coding it. And then I got, I focused on other things and I forgot about it. I need to do better at either taking notes or something, to be frank. Sometimes I'm better about it, but not that time, clearly. Um, anyway, okay. That, I mean, it's a virtual contest, I know, so I'm just chatting a little, or going through my thought process a little bit. But now, let's focus. Okay, 2070 most beautiful item for each query. Okay. To the array item, denote the price and beauty of an item. Okay, price and beauty, maximum beauty of an item whose price is less than you go to query. Okay, what does that mean? Ugh. It's too early to me to parse these so exactly. Okay. Return array ends of the same length of queries. Okay, so let's let's look at an example. It seems very examplable. So for queries of zero is equal to one. Okay, so we look at the price and then we get the maximum beauty. Okay, so I mean this is there are a couple of ways to do this, but I think the way that I'm being lazy about it is gonna sort the queries. Um I don't even know how to do it. Yeah, well, I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm actually struggling a little bit with the query names and not the whatever. But um, yeah, whatever. I'm being really terrible with variable names and wasting time on them. I've been doing that a lot lately, actually. Uh, okay, fine. Um, that actually means something. Let me actually do this. Okay. Um, I I know I I know you could probably do this in like one line, but I for contests I like to type things out a little bit sometimes unless I'm really sure what I'm doing, because uh, for me it's not. T uh, a time for experimentation with respect to implementation when you can do things. Sometimes I, I get in those moods, but I guess right now I'm not one of those. 
Okay, so we sort the queries and then we have the items, okay? Mm, I guess we do the same thing. I guess, eh, I guess now I now I have a better sense of what I want to do. I actually wasn't thinking about it enough, um, which is a little bit weird. But eh, okay, um, what do we want? We want the query second after we pass it. Okay. Surprise and then beauty. Okay, let's type it out. You try to at least try a little bit to use real names. Also, that always bites me when I try not to be. Okay. We actually only need to return the beauty. So, okay. Um. What are we doing? Price. Yeah, okay, just yeah, at least now that I type it out, it looks a little silly. But okay. Uh, price. Which doesn't really matter. Uh, type and then uh, I guess X. Uh, I, I thought I needed some sort of data structure, but I think Max is even good enough. Um, what am I doing? Oh, the query. Okay, so then the X is the index. And then Should be okay, maybe. Let's see. Two, four, five, five, six, six. Uh, and then the edge cases should be okay. I mean, I don't think I do anything really weird. Uh, let's okay. Uh, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem, other contest problems from this contest, other contests. Just come to Discord, show your code, read some code. Uh, a lot of smarty pants in there. Uh, so yeah, come check us out. Uh, I'll see you later. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see you later. Bye bye.